you guys, Charlie D'Amelio's mom has had enough of people attacking her for not letting Charlie post her WAP dance video. Hey loves, your girl is back as usual with more piping hot tea to spill for you guys. And when I tell you that I'm surprised that Cardi B got herself involved in a huge TikTok scandal, I mean, it's 2020 y'all, anything can happen. In today's recap, we're gonna be talking about Charlie D'Amelio's mom responding to Charlie doing an inappropriate dance challenge, Olivia Ponton moving on with Jake Paul and Keo responding, Cardi B getting into a huge fight with the controversial TikToker. Emma Lou. This is definitely gonna be a roller coaster, y'all, so make sure you got your hot tea ready. I can't believe there's another inappropriate TikTok trend that is blowing up right now. And let's just say Charlie's mom is not here for it at all. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the WAP dance challenge that's going around TikTok. If you haven't, well, just check this out. That's the way. That's the way. Now get off. I've had enough. Gargoyles, psychics, everything's ungodly. Anyways, when this trend started going viral, many huge TikTokers decided to hop on the trend, including the one and only Charlie D'Amelio. However, Charlie later announced on her Twitter that she couldn't post the challenge on her TikTok because her mother didn't approve of it because of her age. My mom won't let me post the WAP dance, but it's in my drafts. Now, when this happened, the entire TikTok community started freaking out with many posting TikTok TikTok videos begging Charlie's mom to approve it. What? And y'all, even Dixie joked about making a petition for Charlie to post the challenge as well. Petition to let Charlie do the WAP dance. But guys, after this, Charlie's mom later came out with a statement and shut everyone down by saying, if I let Charlie D'Amelio do the WAP, I'm a bad mom. If I don't let her do the WAP, I'm a bad mom. I saw her do the dance and she killed it. Also, I love I Am Cardi B and The Stallion Music. Dixie D'Amelio. Hello. Hello. Let's be real, y'all. That's what any mother would actually do. Anyways, speaking of Charlie and her mom, guess who else got dragged on social media for doing the dance? Addison Rae. Lashani the baddest, yeah, and she got her ways. And her mom. I mean... I think she kind of snapped. And y'all, after a ton of hate were thrown towards Addison and her mom because of this, even the TikToker Zach Clayton came forward and had something to say about it. If my mom ever did this, I would deactivate instantly. That's just embarrassing. If my mom did this, I'd hide in a hole for the rest of my life. Now, with many people dragging them because of this, Bryce Hall, on the other hand, actually responded to the situation by saying, Hey Bryce Hall, uh, Addison posted this TikTok earlier. Have you seen it? It's going viral right now. So, wait, watch it. No, you gotta watch the whole thing. I mean, what do you want me to say? She looks good. <laughs> yeah, so check it out. I'm back, mother yeah, someone is definitely still simping over Addison. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Addison and her mom receiving hate for doing the challenge? Also, what do you think about Charlie's mom getting hate for not letting Charlie post the WAP dance? Let me know in the comments. Y'all, I try to not have too many opinions on TikTokers, but... Why of all people is Olivia Ponton moving on with Jake Paul? It's the downgraded for me. So it looks like the drama between Keo and Olivia never seemed to stop since, well, Keo recently decided to post a TikTok video where many people thought he was shading his ex, Olivia Ponton. Take a look at this. After tons of fans were quick to say that he was very shady towards Olivia in the TikTok video, Keo actually went on and liked a comment to let people know it wasn't a shade towards Olivia whatsoever. Do people have anything better to do than hate on at I'm Olivia Ponton? It's getting old, like let them live. And while this was going down, Olivia on the other hand decided to act very suspicious by tweeting about how she's simping over someone. I would only simp over you. Shortly after she tweeted this, a lot of people started assuming it could possibly be towards Kyo after he defended her by liking the comment. However, things went from 0 to 100 real quick. Olivia actually decided to post pictures with Jake Paul later on where she was hanging out with him and his friends on a yacht. And let's just say nobody was here for it 
at all. I think she ran out of clout, so she needs more. Olive oil with Jake Paul? No, no, no. What? This doesn't sit right with me for some reason. And guys, when people were going off on Olivia nonstop for this, she then actually decided to fire back at a hate comment by saying, it's the acting innocent for me. It's the being mean for me. Period, sis. <laughs> but not only did this happen, guys. In fact, Keo also decided to tweet about his feelings again, which many thought was about Olivia hanging out with Jake. It makes me sad sometimes to think what would happen if I just stopped being there for someone. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Olivia allegedly dating Jake Paul and moving on from Keo? Let me know your opinions on the whole situation down below. I couldn't imagine a day where I would see Cardi B getting herself into TikTok drama. But here we are, and she's now dragging the TikToker Emma Lou after she decided to throw shade at Cardi. Wait till you guys hear the drama. drama. The whole internet beef went down after Emma Lou gave her opinion on Cardi's lyrics in a very shady way. And, um, here's what she had to say. You know when Cardi B said, my head game is fire, my Dasani. Um, actually, Buckleys, Dasani can contains a lot of harsh chemicals that are actually really bad for you, and Dasani is one of the worst water brands, so you might want to go get that checked out by a gynecologist. It seems as if you've admitted that your vagina is just not healthy. I mean, try again next time, babe. Today. After this video blew up all over Twitter, Cardi B herself actually hit back and decided to drag Emma Lou in a couple of tweets by saying how racist she really is. Fish lips, is this you? Please keep my name out of your mouth. You disguise yourself as a person that love black female artists, but you a real life racist. She wants to talk about mental illness after she got exposed for being a racist sloth. Mental illness, depression is real, but I don't buy it from that talk sh and fake bully celebs and then start crying mental illness. Depression is real. Loneliness is real. Body dysmorphia is real. I know a lot of kids turn to the stan world to not feel alone and be part of something, but I don't feel bad for a racist or somebody who disguised themselves as someone to put hate spit hate. Been talking about me for months, which probably want my skin color then disguise herself as a black female rapper stand to hide her racism and gain followings. Like goodbye, pita bread lip having ass. As soon as she tweeted these, the entire TikTok community started making fun of Emma Lou because, well, she got roasted. However, Emma Lou took to her Instagram Live and addressed the situation very quickly by suddenly saying how much she likes Cardi. Girl, stop embarrassing yourself. I actually kind of like Cardi B. I respected her for her work with politics and Bernie Sanders. The video I made about how Dasani's are really toxic water. Cardi B, obviously your vagina doesn't actually contain Dasani water. Now, I understand that I made a joke at your expense and I will apologize for that. And I thought that I was being funny, but obviously you didn't think it was funny. Am I the 14 year old girl who was ignorant and dumb and used to say things, really offensive, hurtful things for shock factor? Am I that person? Person that I was in that video? No, I'm not. And right now I'm an 18 year old girl and I know who I am and I know what I stand for. She posted a video of me saying the N word on a huge platform. No, while Emma was trying to calm down the storm, Cardi B ended up adding more fuel to the fire and responded back once again saying that Emma Lou's a straight up. Bully. You have made like 10 videos of me disrespecting and picking on me. If you experience bullying, depression, if you know who you are, why you do it to others. I am a person too. I got feelings too. My feelings get hurt too. So it's okay to pick on people on the internet for shock value. And when I stand up for myself, I gotta be mindful that you are 18. You don't gotta pick on people for attention. Sh is whack, y'all. Imagine having beef with Cardi B. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on the drama between Emma Lou and Cardi B? Also, what did you think of today's recap? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you so much.